Hey, so what is going on guys, and welcome back, I'm Domino, and we're playing some Battlefield 3, and as promised in my previous video, I'll be uploading to Battlefield, and I'm actually really proud to present you guys this gameplay, this is my first ever game on the DLC on Close Quarters, so last night I was thinking to myself, you know, how can I become a better player, how can I get into Battlefield a little bit more, so I thought, you know what, just buy the premium, so I did that, downloaded the Close Quarters thing, and... I was a little bit scared, you know, I was downloading it, I was apprehensive, 12v12 was always going to be a little bit nuts on Battlefield, uh, especially in close quarters, and it turns out to be awesome, like, this was, last night, I think I can say this, was the most fun I've had gaming in the past year or so, and it was just epic, it felt like there was action every second, and I've only uploaded the first gameplay for you guys to watch, um, even though the other gameplays I got later on in the night were better, I just felt like... You know, this is my first game. I could show you guys how to play. I didn't really know the map. I was just running around just randomly. And it went really well for me, this game. It's probably not the best way to play all the time. You know, take it a bit slow sometimes. But, man, it was just awesome. And the points. Oh, my God, the points. I just couldn't believe it. Like, look how many we're getting there. 150 for the neutralizing the flag. 250 for capping it. And... I was finishing games with like 100k points with a double XP as well. And I just, I couldn't believe it. It was just so epic. And I was a little bit worried going into it, you know, how how much like gun skill do you need and stuff. Because I'm not really like the best on the sticks and stuff. But I'm, I'm quite good at outsmarting people. And in close quarters, you it's all just kind of gun skill. And I was actually surprised how good I was doing. I thought people would be a lot better at me at this game. And... It was just going really, really well. I tried to actually knife that guy, but he turned around. <laughs> but yeah, I was just playing off instinct, playing like Sandy Ravage, running around just like obliviously, and going from one flag to the next. I think that guy kills me, yeah. But you guys can see how I've just cut up this gameplay just to make it interesting for you guys. I just cut out the boring deaths and, the, you know, the running around. And the fact is, you're getting a kill like every like 10 seconds in this game mode. And... There are actually flanking routes. The maps, although being close quarters, are actually kind of big. And they've done this really, really smart in that, although the maps are big, they're kind of broken down into small areas, so you're always fighting someone in a close quarter situation, which is obviously what they were going for. Um, my only criticism of it is that, actually, apart from, apart from C4 flags, people always C4 the flags, and that's annoying. But the, my only criticism is that you, you really only need medic. Like, you, if you had a full team of medic, that's all you need, and... Maybe you run out of ammo sometimes, but I just find picking up guns is the best way. But if you, everyone's got medic, there's like a litter of dead bodies on flags and stuff. You guys can see like the amount of bodies that are on every flag. And you can just get so many revives, squad revives, so many points on offer for you guys. And you can, you know, you can heal yourself. You're always taking damage and stuff. And you see me just being like Tarzan. I just jumped from roof to roof. And it was just epic. I was really worried, you know, my KD would take a hit and stuff. Not that I care too much on this game about my KD. But, you know, I was worried about how that would turn out. And it was awesome. I was averaging, like, four or five kills a life. And I was, like, I didn't think going into it, as I said, I thought I was going to get my butt handed to me. But it turned out really good then. Look at this guy. Revive. Just keep reviving people. And the points, the points just never stop. And it just always feels like you're in the action. So, if you guys, I know you guys are big on Call of Duty and stuff. And I know I shouldn't compare these two, but this is the nearest thing they've got to Call of Duty on Battlefield. And if if you're thinking about it, if you're half you know half decided on getting the DLC, get it. It is awesome. And I can't say I've had a bad game on it yet. You know, every game I've been getting pretty high pretty high scores and low deaths. And I'm definitely going to bring you guys some more in the future. It feels like every game I can make a montage out of. I think I already said that, but that's that's just how it feels. And you guys can see here. Look at it. Just got one ham. And I honestly, I thought it was so fun. And as I said, you know, if they, if maybe if they bring maybe some tanks, like I know it's hard in close quarters, but I haven't played any of the maps. I'm not sure if there are some open spaces, but maybe get the engineer in, you know, make everything a little bit more useful. Because as it stands, the medic is the only thing that needs to go, and that's all you need. You only need medic, and you are sorted. But anyway, guys, you see the game is coming to an end here. I think the final score is. Is it 35 and 6? I can't see. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun to watch. And I'm definitely jumping on the PS3 now to play some more. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.